In the shadow of Herod's palace, where power and pride held sway, John the Baptist stood as a beacon of truth and righteousness. His unwavering commitment to God's law led him to confront Herod, a ruler corrupted by his illicit union with Herodias. John's boldness was not driven by a desire for fame or recognition, but by a deep conviction to do the will of God. His voice, echoing through the dark corridors of Herod's court, was the voice of Elijah reborn, as Jesus himself revealed, fulfilling prophecy and preparing the way for the Messiah. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. John's life was marked by a singular focus on his divine mission. He lived in the wilderness, clothed in camel's hair, eating locusts and wild honey, detached from the luxuries and temptations of the world. His sole concern was to proclaim the coming of the kingdom of God, calling all to repentance. Even as he faced imprisonment and death, John's resolve did not waver. He knew that his time was short and his work was nearing completion. But he also knew that his mission was not in vain, for he had prepared the way for the Lord, fulfilling the purpose for which he was born. John's journey to martyrdom began with his fearless proclamation of God's truth. He boldly confronted King Herod, condemning his unlawful marriage to Herodias, his brother's wife. This angered Herodias, who harbored a deep grudge against John and sought to kill him. However, Herod, recognizing John as a righteous and holy man, kept him imprisoned but safe, torn between fear and fascination. On Herod's birthday, a lavish banquet was held, and Herodias' daughter performed a dance that greatly pleased the king and his guests. In a moment of reckless pride, Herod promised the girl anything she desired, even up to half his kingdom. At her mother's prompting, the girl requested the head of John the Baptist. Though distressed, Herod felt compelled to honor his promise before his guests, and he ordered John's execution. John's disciples later retrieved his body and laid it in a tomb. Herod, conflicted and weak, allowed the venomous grudge of Herodias to dictate his actions. Though intrigued by John's words, the weight of his guilt and the expectations of those around him clouded his judgment. In a moment of weakness, driven by pride and fear of losing face, Herod sealed John's fate, ordering his beheading to satisfy a cruel and vengeful demand. John's death may seem tragic, a life cut short by the cruelty of others, yet, in the divine plan, John's work was complete. He had fulfilled his mission as the forerunner of Christ, and his martyrdom became a testimony to the power of living for God's will rather than the approval of men. John's life teaches us that the measure of success is not how others regard or treat us, but how faithfully we fulfill God's calling. Like John, we must remain steadfast in our purpose, not swayed by the opinions of others or the circumstances we face. Our focus should always be on doing the will of God, knowing that in the end it is His judgment that matters. Let us draw strength from John's example, embracing our mission with courage and conviction, trusting that our efforts, like His, will bear fruit in God's perfect time. This tragic yet powerful story reminds us of the consequences of living righteously in a world often hostile to truth, while also highlighting John's unwavering commitment to fulfilling God's will. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.